Welcome back to Band Footage. Now that we have found out the prologue of Resident Evil 7, let's take a look at some of these side stories. Canonical or not, these are actually great additions. Oh, totally canonical. What are you talking about? This is Nightmare. Survive until the morning. Now, uh, I've never played Nightmare. Oh, you haven't? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so even though you saw a high score there, that's just me trying it out for one night and immediately dying. So, uh, I like to call these next three DLCs the Clancy Chronicles, because it's all about him. Oh, where am I? Is it me or does every horror game start like this? You wake up on the cold... Uh, damp floor of some disgusting building. I know PT started like that. This is a tower defense game. Where you're the tower that needs defending. <laughs> you need to survive five nights. And if you do, you win Nightmare. Basically... Well, it's hours, really. Hours. Oh, right, right, right. It's, sorry. Survive until morning. With, which t is five hours from now. And, uh, I, I kind of really like this mode, even though I've never played it before. Testing it out, it was really fun, and uh, I'm glad it exists. So you take the scrap, and you build weapons. You can also build traps. And that's where it, that's where the fun comes in, at least to me. So we've got five different waves that we have to deal with, and you can make so many different traps starting out. But what's also kind of neat is... You can start up other generators to get more scrap. So right here, we can make a nerve gas trap that won't be set off by you, but it'll be set off by the enemies. So it's nice. What I like about Nightmare is that the gunplay in Resi 7 is very, very strong when you when you get right down to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this mode just absolutely Shit. takes advantage of all that. Absolutely. Now, I really like the the slow crawl of how much scrap you get. That's another part that I really like, because if you deck yourself out with enough weaponry, you can let these grinders just go, and eventually you'll have tons of scrap that you can use for other traps. Now, that turret I actually set up is fucking amazing. It is probably one of the best traps that you can set up. Unfortunately, it can't go anywhere. So, just sitting around here, let the turret take over and let it kill things for you. But you can also upgrade the turret. Yeah! So, as it is now, the turret is at level 1. Once it runs out, you can upgrade it to level 2. And eventually level 3, and it's just amazing. Like right now, the turret has actually run out and we need to upgrade it. So, for 500 scrap, we can upgrade it to level 2, and it's fantastic! In fact, I would actually suggest you use that turret in the beginning stages, because it's a little easier. And also so you can build up your scrap supply. Because the turret can take out so many molded for you. I don't think I've ever tr tried setting up a wire trap and then immediately walking through it to see if it actually kills Clancy or not. Not, not, not here, not now. <laughs> yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not do this. I gotta say, though, those uh, nerve gas traps really help for later on. I agree, and I know exactly what you're talking about, too. Yes, later on. So, uh, kind of the mean thing is how you start this out. This is almost like mercenaries mode in past games where you start out with not the best weaponry, but the more you play, the better rewards you get. And it's all based on your score. I find it's good to keep moving. Just co constant movement. Yes. So that way the enemies can't, you know, gang up on you is really good. I agree with that. What tends to happen is, uh, when I played this the first time, all I had was, I believe, the shotgun, the knife, and the grenade launcher were the only weapons I could get. And then after you die, it tallies that score, and then you unlock more stuff. There was so much crap that you can unlock in this game, because they want you to play forever. Essentially, they want you to get the best score, get all the weapons, and then have a grand old time. See how fast you can be. Replay value, yeah. yeah. And 
to that end, I really enjoy Nightmare. It is a fun little mini game. I'm glad it exists. And uh, it is totally canonical. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. Uh-huh. So just imagine uh, our intrepid cameraman, Clancy Jarvis, gets, uh, gets knocked out. His other camera crew dies. And all of a sudden, uh, Jack takes him and throws him in the basement and says, See you in the morning, boy! That's it. That's all the story you need for this specific minigame. So, what's the plan? Plan is get the through all enemies, apparently. Yes, get through all five waves in one playthrough so you can see what is added. And uh, another neat thing is the more you make of one item, the more expensive it gets because they want you to mix and match. They want you to use new weapons. So, yeah. so eventually, it's going to be very expensive to continue ow to continuously make shotgun shells, which is one of the better items. Also, you can buy upgrades for the weapons you get, so they have more firepower. They can you can actually buy reload speed. So it's really interesting to play through this and see every wave is going to get gradually more difficult. But eventually, you'll have enough scrap to where it won't be that big of an issue. And we did it. I'm not dying down here. It's 1 a.m. So they add that kill count to your scrap, and now you have a little bit more to play with. Grand. Hmm, where to now? I mean, this really isn't that, that big of a room, not really. New. No. That's another cool part. We're gonna make a corrosive. I was about to say, just get a corrosive and yeah. make it bigger. We are going to increase our playing field. Here's the first place. I would actually suggest you go to the other corrosive door, but this one is actually very handy in that it just has a compactor. Start one up. There. Three times the scrap. And a nerve gas spot, too. Yeah. So this is what I like to call the bottleneck, basically. If you uh, somehow have, like, five or six molded trying to kill you, you can kind of hide out in there and take him out with a nerve trap. One other interesting aspect of how this uh, how this game plays is when it says warning defeat all enemies, the compactors eventually stop. Saying that, nope, alright, we gotta clear the playing field and we're not gonna do it by ourselves, you, get, you gotta do it. You still get to keep the scrap that's there, but the fact that it stops means you have to kill these things if you want to continue. Yep, that's and a, it's a choke point, I would say. I enjoy that a lot. Thank you, Resident Evil, for giving me this. It is a nice gift. I enjoyed it Christmas morning. It came out in January. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Whatever. Actually, I think this came out around my birthday, so this was perfect. <laughs> oh, one came in. Ow. There we go. I think we're actually going to eventually upgrade this shotgun because uh, we're not doing a lot of damage. I like it when a shotgun deals headshots. That way I can save on ammo and kill enemies faster. So here's hoping that we can eventually upgrade something. I think the molded eventually gets stronger too, don't they? I believe so. We're, we're definitely going to get all the molded variants throughout this playthrough. But I think they keep the same amount of health. They mainly want you to collect enough scrap to upgrade all of your weaponry so it is always instant kill. But eventually you're going to get a stronger molded that's not going to die in one hit. <laughs> Just puts a hand over his face like, that'll stop me from the- ah! oh, God. <laughs> no! How do we solve all of our problems, Clancy? Light it on fire, exactly. And how does he- Oh. Oh my god, that worked! Yes! Oh. We can do a level 3 turret. That's gonna be fun. Anything that touches a wire trap will go with a bang. I believe that includes Clancy, so <laughs> that's good to know. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey! There he is. That thing I was talking about earlier showed up. Yep. There are boss fights in here. So it, as soon as Jack shows up, all the molded go away. <laughs> oh, shit. But now we need to kill him. And looks like he's got his madhouse speed going, too. Yes, he does. He's a little tough. 
Oh, please go away. Please go away. <laughs> I've been having a bad enough time with this guy upstairs! <laughs> That's actually something I wanted to bring up. So, a lot of the band footage is either happening during Resident oh. Evil 7 or after. Or, sorry, before. Y yeah. That's, that's not the word I wanted to use. Jesus. <laughs> After? Wait a minute. Whoa, hold on there. Yeah. I'd like to think that soon after the sewer gators died and we had the the uh, lost footage tape in the old house, this is immediately what happened to Clancy. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's fighting Jack, just trying to survive for five hours. And so much molded in the basement. Ow. And I guess if you want to go, like, extremely canonically... This is why you don't see any of the traps in the basement uh, when Ethan gets there, because Clancy used them all. Makes sense. We did it! Because it was it is one of the only few places in the house that's not trapped. Except it'd be like, you know, the main house where they actually like live. When is this gonna be open? You have all these little bits and bobs that Lucas was messing with. He's like, I'll set up a turret in the basement just in case. Damn rats! Yeah, I really believe that this is happening either during Resi 7 or just before. I would say just before, for the sole reason that the last part of the band footage immediately ties into one of the tapes you find in the main game. Yeah. But I mean, like, you know, just right now we hear Ethan's car <laughs> pulling up right now. Now that we have a compactor upgrade, it is making more scrap, and it can make more total scrap. Finally. Well, holy scrap! Where the fuck are oh, I love it. Things coming from? Oh, come on, make scrap faster. I think this one is actually one of the slowest compactors, because it just did not make scrap. And it sucks. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to have the turret do most of the work on this until it runs out. Because I want to conserve ammo. I'm running out. <laughs> yeah, he slipped on a banana peel or something. <laughs> well, well, look at the mold on the floor. I think he slipped on one of his brethren. No. Oh, oh. oh, damn it, Carl! Die! Yeah. I, I slipped on Carl and fell into Jerry. <laughs> yeah, that level three turret packs a punch. It can deal headshots too, which is nice. Why would it pack a punch? I thought it shot bullets. Uh, it packs a bullet then. Oh, okay. Kabang! <laughs> it did it. Come here. No. Get. No. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, those knives. Oh my god, it worked again. That did it. Those knife is great. It also costs zero money. But if you want to upgrade the knife, I think it costs like a little bit of cash. Something like that. Free knife. Free knife. Oh wait, it looks like it cost a hundred. So how did I buy it for nothing? Maybe that's an upgrade. And I'm thinking of later playthroughs. Maybe it costs a hundred if you were to buy another watch the game won't let you do. Yeah. That's strange. Okay. Alright, let's not get caught anywhere. I don't want to die to these things. Because uh, if you haven't noticed, this has been going on for over ten minutes. And it has. And dying means you go back to the very beginning. You don't have checkpoints between nights. Nights. Hours! This does not take five days. Five nights at Jackie's. <laughs> I ain't got the pizza, but I got twice the murder! <laughs> now, now I can just see Jack, Marguerite, and Lucas walking around in animatronic suits. Yeah, do you guys, do you guys have the bear suits? We like to keep Lucas's things a secret. <laughs> <laughs> they were stuck in his old room in the closet that doesn't exist. Stuff it up in the attic. God damn it, I told you not to bring that out again! <laughs> That's for me time! I don't even want to th think about that. Oh, the trap's gone. Oh no. It finally ran out. It lost its nerve. Boo! <laughs> I'm a guess. Boo! <laughs> oh, that's even worse! <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Yeah, I've never liked the machine gun, by the way. It just 
feels like I'm throwing marbles at enemies and it's bad. But like really hard at them. It's shooting marbles at them instead of actual bullets, which you know, kind of makes sense. But what I like to do is shotgun, they fall to the floor, use machine gun, take out the rest of them. The machine gun's actually a modded out BB gun. Dude! An unlockable paintball gun. That's what this needed. <laughs> oh my god, I want that. Like, whatever happened to, like, the funny weapons? Like, I still remember one of the funniest weapons I've ever gotten from a game was a frying pan. Well, well th this game has a funny mode, so let's be thankful for that. Okay, that's true. But I know what you're talking about. Because, uh, you ever played Jet Force Gemini? No. It's on the Rare Replay, I think. I believe it is, yes. Yeah, it's, you know, third-person shooter for N64. They had, like, codes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, if you collected enough uh, ant heads from the enemies you killed. You could, like, turn on rainbow blood. Dude! I'm trying to think. Was it Gears 3 that had the chicken gun? Oh, dear. That mold would have showed up. I, I thought that was 2. It, it, it could have been one of the Gears, but the, the point still stands. It was the gun that shot giant golden chickens. Oh, that sucks. So, the Fat Molded can destroy wire traps with its puke. Gross. Ooh, we're in a bad position, because I haven't opened this door yet. Shoot him. In face! Is it, is it, oh my god, did that work? In face shoot? Shoot in face? It worked! Yeah, it turns out getting a, an entire face full of buckshot isn't the best thing for you. <laughs> Alright, is that it? Did we do it? Hey! Three hours. Hey, I want to go home. Yeah, I got bad news for you, Clancy. <laughs> this is the beginning of your nightmare, unfortunately. Name drop like it ain't no thing. You ever have a daymare? Yes. Your nightmare is when you have a dream and it's and it's bad. What if you just have a bad life? <laughs> just a daymare. Wake up, the nightmare's still going. <laughs> it's you... an all-new nightmare with all-new horrors! Ah! I think I'd call Clancy's experience that. Like, like you might as well just, you know, blow your own face off with that shotgun you got there. <laughs> just save your little time and don't give Jack the satisfaction. <laughs> or don't give any of the bakers the satisfaction. Because uh, the band footage is very amazing in the fact that Clancy has to what deal with all three bakers <laughs> in their own sick way, and it's pretty fantastic. I like to think that these uh, banned footage DLCs aren't banned because, you know, it shows the real story or because, you know, it's full of violent content. It's, it's because, you know, something really bandworthy is in there. It's like, huh, now I'm gonna talk in great detail about my sister. And to all right, we'll cut all that. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop, stop, ow. Man, this is banned. And, uh, you know what? Now, now that I'm thinking about it, there is actually a band footage tape for every Baker kid. Because Zoe's his daughter's. Yeah, Which true. is tragic. <laughs> Marguerite's his bedroom. Uh-huh. And Jack gets Nightmare. And, uh... I don't want to even talk about Lucas's, because it freaks me the fuck out. Like, I legitimately <laughs> am scared of 21. That boy has a gambling problem. <laughs> And that's why it's so scary! It's so relatable! <laughs> ah! Alright, I, I don't like being stuck in here. Please, please leave. Oh yeah, more four-legged showed up! Oh, great. Sweet! My favorite thing! Just like hunters and lickers, my favorite enemy. <laughs> it's like they took the best of both of those enemies and put them into one. Blech. I hate it. Yeah, the nimbleness of the hunters and the jumping mechanic of the lickers. Terrible. We have enough money to move on. Do you hate being trapped in here? Why'd you come back in here? Because I need the workbench. Sorry, this is the only place you can make items so far. Well, get, get to the work. I'm working get on it. Get to the workbench. There we go. We made a corrosive. Now we can go to the final area, which is actually very nice. So now we've got three compactors working, and if you know this basement from the main game, you know how much is about to open up. But it has changed a little bit. Oh my god, not another one. And here we go. Here we go. 
Oh, another workbench! Yeah, you get a second workbench, you, you have another turret that you can set up, a lot more traps, but the best thing, a fourth compactor! Yes! There. Also, you got a shortcut that was just made. So, uh, hold on, let me deal with these guys. Stop jumping to the right! Oh, God, leave me alone! Just, just, there. <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Stop jumping, I hate it. <laughs> there. Alright, you, go away. There. Here's your shortcut to the rest of the basement. Finally. And let me guess. Enemy incoming? Because that was a big barrage of bad guys. Nope, that was just half of wave four. Oh, goody. Oh, hey. Hey. We, we had a complete compactor. 1,500 you can get from a full compactor. A compactor. Uh, I didn't like that joke. Didn't have enough body. It was complactor. <laughs> well, then, uh, I'll take it back. I'll, uh, retract her. Ooh, that was good. In fact, to reuse my joke, if you've got dirty teeth, that's a replactor. I could hire somebody else to do it and get a contractor. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi! You snuck up on me. That's not nice. Oh, there it is. Complete. Let's, uh, yeah. Get out of here. Oh, I noticed the compactors are stopping sooner and sooner every time. So, what can they throw at us for hour four? Marguerite. Oh, please don't say that. And Lucas. Oh, that's even worse. Combined, fused, and then Gogeta's with you as well. <laughs> Has there ever been a three-person fusion? Uh, there have been five people fusions. Oh, that's... okay. Well, I don't know my lore. In a dumb canonical non-game. Oh. But, technically there have been five... In, you know, you need five Saiyans to make a Super Saiyan God happen. Right. You know, so... Well, that's not exactly fusion, that's just like touching fingertips together and go, We really love you! Uh-oh. Ow. But if you're talking like, you know, fusion, ha, huh, between... Yes, uh, multiple persons making one person. Just in a game. It, okay. It, just in one of the video games called Dragon Ball Fusions. Boo! It's supposed to be about fusion and shit. Oh god, that's a lot of, that's a lot of force. Die. Die by fire. Did that do it? Oh my god, did that do it? Please? If you want a really big uh, ab... Ooh! Anyway, you were saying. If you want a really big ab workout, cosplay is one of those four-legged moldeds. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about the core structure you get in the... The crawling and everything. Oh, yeah, and the jumping, and the fact you gotta do it for two hours, and, you know, even, even you know, six hours, even. <sighs> oh, two of them. That's how we make it more difficult on hour four. When in doubt, more. Yeah. So they throw a lot more four-legged molded and fat molded at you, and it's bad and I hate it. Maybe we should fuse some of the molded to get some more enemy types, like fat legged molded. <laughs> we call them thunder thighs. You, you can hear their stomps when they run really fast, so like. Doo, 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 doo. Now, what would really suck, and it would be a nice, like, I, I don't know, a curveball that you could throw into this mode, maybe in a harder difficulty? Add white molded. The ones that could only be killed by Chris Redfield. Or Come add forward. one zombie. Keep it together. Just one zombie out of nowhere. My dude. Just shows up. <laughs> My dude. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> zombie infected molded! No! Yes! <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's the T virus meets the C virus meets the E virus. That's the fusion we need. God. Just put all of them together. Why not at this point? <laughs> I was like, hey, all those lettered viruses, just, you know, sugar spice and everything nice and a little bit of Chemical X. Put it all together. Call it Resident Evil. Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's what eight's gonna be. Whether it can be, you know, the letter Y or the word Y, you know. Well, Evelyn's the E series of, uh, of different mutations, so there technically is an E virus now. Great. T H 
Eventually, they're going to spell the Niskel, and it's going to be great. There is no U virus. Is there a D virus? There is no J virus. Which Almost. means that... There is, you are not a virus. I am not a virus. <laughs> if anything, I'm a cure. I can see that. Because of how many people demanded that you be in here. <laughs> Demanded? You are the cure for my bad let's play, apparently. Demanded? Bad <laughs> let's play? What? Well, hang on a second. <laughs> it became good when you showed up, is what I'm saying. <laughs> well, Ow! Fuck off! The whole my god, stop! Damn! Oh, uh, now I've got two of them in here! Eight legged like molded. Fuck off! Oh, a molded centipede. No! No! Duck! Just a hundred of them. Please, no! You need to get out of there, Clancy! dude! Clancy! You need to get out of there! No, you didn't make it! Damn it! You didn't do it! Fuck! Why were we here, then, if you didn't do it? Oh, I got the shit kicked out of me. So it took another uh, two attempts to finally get back to night five, but here's an example of the result screen. That score is now being added to the overall point value. So now we get flammable drums... You get new stage hazards, you can get a fucking magnum added to the yeah. workbench. Fla so flammable drums, all I can think of is, you know. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, fuck! Straight fire. And eventually, at, I believe that said 100 million points, you get infinite ammo for this. Well, get to plan. Uh, yeah, oh, we got a lot of playing to do. So I went ahead and skipped ahead to a different playthrough's hour five. No, we overslept. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's been, been a long time, but I've got 4,000 scrap to play around with, so let's let's have some fun. Basically, I did what I said earlier and had the first turret do the... Uh, basically, the first two hours for me. And I haven't even gotten a compactor upgrade, so let's, uh, let's buy some stuff. Stuff to buy. First aid meds. Guns and knives and ammo, too. By the way, adrenaline is an interesting item. <laughs> Adrenaline is basically a, a a continue coin. If you die, you come back with a with an adrenaline, which is nice. Done, Doesn't cost too much. Burn this fucking house down. You go, Clancy. <laughs> you burn that fucking house down. Well, the house is gonna burn, but it's not gonna burn down, and you're gonna burn with it. But you know, whatever. In fact, what if the house was made of the special E series infection, and it just came back if you destroyed any of it? Evie made a house out of herself. Oh my god. Well, she became a giant face on the side of a wall. So why not? That was only after we added that uh, antibody to her, though. That's true. So it seems like every time you kill an infected person, or at least inject them with the cure, they become a giant monstrosity. It, ha it happened to Lucas when we oh, shot him. That'd be cool. You know, it, it very much like the Baker house, very much, you know, with a family that's infected. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the house is fine. It's pristine, perfect, beautiful, even. Then you kill one, and then things start to get crazy. And you kill two, and all of a sudden the lights are out, and there's, you know, sh pus dripping from the walls. Ew. And you kill three. It just becomes a dilapidated mess, and then you kill the fourth kid or something like that, and the entire place crumbles down. It'd be very fitting, because this is one of the few Resident Evil games that doesn't end with a rocket launcher. But then you find out that there is a fifth a fifth member. There is a cousin who got shot accidentally by the brother or whatever, and they hit the body in the backyard. Then you see a hand oh my God. come out of the ground and... Oh my god! Next you're going to tell me my stillborn brother is the reason I have ghost powers. <laughs> god, that would be a dumb <laughs> twist to add to Resident Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, no, you've got to be kidding. Get off. All right. We're good. Heal up. Yeah, and then Chris has to go find the remains of Albert Wesker in that volcano. <laughs> so he just, he just keeps... He's just having walk around going, Albert! 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 We, Albert! <laughs> Albert! The only way to truly kill Wesker is to put an oak stake in his ashes. <laughs> Kill the vampire man. So of course you have to, you know, find the tree, chop it down, and then you gotta, you know, right. What you gotta lay it down to a stake. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then you gotta kiss your wife, they hug your child, make dinner, set the, set the table. We're making fun of David Cage, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. If you didn't, absolutely. Take a shower and uh, 
you know. Because that's what Resident Evil was missing. Emotion! Absolute emotion. All right, Jack's back, and uh, he brought a brand new weapon. Would you go away? Check it out, it's called an M60! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be the biggest turn I think I've ever, I would ever see, because even in the game he insults you for using guns. It's like, that's not how you use that. Also, you can lose him. I just found out. <laughs> We're fucked. Yeah, hey. he can't find me. I think he spawns back in the beginning area. I can imagine. Jack! Ethan! Jack! Ethan! Jack? Ethan? Ethan? Jack! Ethan! <laughs> Jack! Ethan! Where'd he go? <laughs> I think eventually he'll find me, but right now I'm picking up any excess scrap. Just to make sure I can make some healing items if need be. 1350, good lord. Give me that. There we go. Get some adrenaline. God, get some adrenaline. Nah, we don't need adrenaline. We don't need adrenaline. Yeah, we do. I think. Hopefully. Hopefully we it's, don't need adrenaline. It's going to be where you get killed right here, and you're going to be like, Oh no, I got to play it all over oh, again. Oh no, darn it. I need to play a fun mini game again? Son of a bitch. Yeah, but you're wasting time in a fun mini game. You don't want to do that. That's true. Uh, oh, there he is. Hi! He brought his scissors. Uh, boom. You ever heard of Clock Tower? <laughs> Jack is nowhere close to the Scissor Man. At all. He had a cameo, you know. A young Jack Baker. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Used to be Hunchback. I didn't want to include it in my IMDB. It was an uncredited role. Oh, shit. I've got it. Ooh, he got stuck in the wall. What the hell? <laughs> really? Wow. Uh. Okay. Oh, uh, please walk into that. What, trap, do you, what do you expect? Evie's a fucking stupid seven-year-old girl. She doesn't know how to oh, fucking code I... clipping and all that. Oh, oh, oh! All right, we're gonna stay away from these scissors because Jack now has an instant death move, and I don't want him to use it. What a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god! See what, I, see what I did there. And it just happens to be the last boss. We beat him, we win Nightmare. So, please die. Then Golden Freddy comes out of nowhere and just ah! demolishes him. That's not enough for a turret, damn it. Uh, die here? Oh. This is probably the best arena to fight. Jack Phase 2, I guess, because uh, he still has his instant death move, as mentioned. But this also means you have more time to see him winding up attacks. I noticed you haven't ducked yet. Well, I'm pretty sure you can still duck on a lot of his attacks. I freaked out, okay? The game is counting on that! I know. Specifically, they're counting on that for him winding up to take your head off. Well, yeah! Alright, we need to... Come up with something else. Oh, never mind. Yeah, killing him. That's a good. Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. We did it. Yeah. Nightmare's done. Yeah. But yeah. All right. It's over. No. They unlocked the doors at 6 a.m. Damn it. Lucas comes out. Hey, hey, that's great. <laughs> Shoots ah. him right in the head. <laughs> we have survived the baker's basement. And Jack himself. We lived! But unfortunately, as soon as Clancy walked out that door, he got captured by Marguerite Baker. Oh, come on! Ah, come right, on. So we added more points. What, what did we get? We got the circular saw and more starting scrap. So that's nice. So yeah, that is a very fun side activity that you can do. It's part of the band footage DLC. And I enjoy it a lot. We're Worth not it. No, oh, go ahead. I'm just saying, it's probably the best out of all the DLC. Yeah. After that, you unlock Night Terror, which is a harder version of Nightmare. And after that, I think, is Night Terror Plus or something. Oh, Jesus, no way. So, uh, uh yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and they each have their own high score ranking, so you have to play it again and again and again to unlock more of those upgrades. Yep. No thanks, I'm good. That's too difficult for me. So next time on Resident Evil 7, we're delving into the bedroom tape. We'll see what happens to Clancy after Jack. But, uh, I died my second route. That was actually my third fifth night. No! 
So uh, no. this this is what happens when I get too cocky and it's just like, hey, I've got a turret, I've got a magnum. This is great. Too cocky. That's a oh shit! There he goes now. No! no! <laughs> Fuck! If you try to block Jack with his instant death move with a one-handed weapon, it doesn't block it. It kills you. I didn't bring out the shotgun fast enough to thoroughly block it. Ah, oh, crap. Oops. Well, that was bad. I right, I'm gonna head out. Yeah, that's that's about it. I'm gonna head out. Unfortunately, I had to do it one more time to actually get the footage for the fifth hour. All right. See you guys next time. Go to sleep. Mm -hmm.